All week, we've been sharing tips to help you protect your identity. It's part of our Call for Action Consumer Success Stories Week. Frank Frasetto runs Wisconsin's Consumer Protection Division at DATCAP. He's here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Celeste. Hi. So I would hope that uh, there would be something that we could talk about outside of identity theft, but it, it appears it's spiking again. 80% increase last year, and you were telling me in the commercial break, we're seeing even more now. Well, it's following the same trend that it did last year, so we're expecting that it's probably going to end up in the top five again, at least. Uh, and unfortunately, the uh, the tax ID theft portion was what was driving it last year, yeah. and it's also driving it again this year. So what you mean by that is people who are filing their taxes only to find that somebody's all already filed in their name. Exactly. Yeah. Is there a way to stay ahead of this? Or does it seem like it's always trying to play catch up or, or just at least just try to prevent it from becoming even bigger? Well, Charlotte, identity theft is one of those uh, crimes of opportunity. So what you really want to try to do is make sure that the financial and personal information that crooks are looking for is being held very close to the vest. And so we're always trying to talk about ways to minimize that information getting out there in the universe of mm -hmm. crooks and thieves. So, for example, your shred fest that's mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah. Great way to do that. Uh, I would even encourage people to make sure that they have a shredder at their house because anytime uh, cancel checks or bank statements that are unnecessary anymore, you want to put them in the shredder instead of just putting them in your garbage because, you know, that low-tech dumpster diving still occurs out there. But it's just a way of making sure that you're controlling where that information is and that it's not getting out there uh, for others to use fraudulently. So we both have little kids, and, and it's important, you, we were saying earlier, to make sure that kids are protected in this as well. And you don't necessarily think, I mean, a kid's not going to, mm -hmm. you know, an eight-year-old kid's not going to be using their Social Security card, and yet that number's valuable. Absolutely. Uh, your name, your address, your date of birth, that little bit of information is enough for a crook to start building an identity. And especially with your kids, as you said, mm -hmm. they're not out there uh, taking out credit mm -hmm. to buy a car or something like that. So as parents and legal guardians, what we want to do is take advantage of Wisconsin's Child Credit Protection Act that went into effect in uh, January of 2014. And that uh, allows us as parents to open up a credit account in our kids' name up until they're 16 years of age. And then it requires the credit reporting agencies to immediately freeze that. So mm -hmm. obviously that's a good thing. And it's a small fee. Yes, it is. It's a great investment mm -hmm. when you consider $10 per credit reporting agency. So you, you can uh, do it online. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not online. Go online at DATCAP and we walk you through the process. But it is something mm -hmm. you have to do in writing. But obviously $30, it. Yeah. At no doubt mm -hmm. about it. I right, really quickly, Frank, I mean, I, do you think people get it at this point in time or are they still sharing this kind of information too easily? I think oftentimes if you get a phone call or you get a, uh, an email from somebody and it looks legitimate and yet it's asking you for some of this information, it's easy to fall prey to that. For example, uh, when your tax returns are being done, mm -hmm. yeah. it's easy enough to fish somebody's email and say, by the way, we need to verify some information in order to speed up the refund. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. somebody is going to get caught in that one yeah. and that's unfortunate. All right. All right. Frank Frasetto, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for what you do, protecting yeah. Wisconsin Charlotte, consumers. Thank you. Um, so you heard Frank mention the Shred Fest that we are hosting this weekend. It's at two locations, Saturday from 8.30 to 11 o'clock. SVA certified public accountants on John Q. Hammonds Drive or out at Warner Park on Northport Road. Uh, important to mention, you're only allowed three bags. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of people bring boxes and bags yeah. and everything last Lots time. Frank, of it. Yeah, thank <clears throat> you again. We appreciate it.